Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matches. The power of wealth consciousness. The power of wealth consciousness. Now, you know, even though I mentioned different things going on and suggest businesses and everything and managing your money, ultimately this channel is about changing your mindset and your consciousness to one of wealth consciousness. See, understand there's two general consciousnesses as far as money, two general ones. Yeah, you got permutations of both of them, but two of them in general, one of poverty consciousness, one of wealth consciousness. See, people, I'm gonna tell you what, the main reason people stay poor is not how much money they make. It's their consciousness, it's how they spend their money. See, understand something, people with a poverty consciousness, they're gonna stay broke. And the real reason they stay broke is they always spend their money. They always spend their money. That's the main reason they're going to stay broke. You know, it's not even so much how much they're making, but they always spend it. Whereas with wealth consciousness, the main thing with them is they will make their money work for them to make even more money. Now, before I had talked about, uh, I did a couple videos talking about financial houses, and that was based on this book I read, uh, Ebony Treasure Map. Ebony Treasure Map by Myron Golden. And um, I'm gonna link the video, I'm gonna link all the videos that I did with regard to that. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna link the two financial house videos. I'm also gonna link uh, Myron Golden's channel because it was a very powerful thing. He talked about the financial house of the, he talked about the poor, the middle class, the rich, and the wealthy. And, you know, um, and I use the book as an illustration, but one of the things with the poor, they get their money and they generally spend it. Like, there's always talk, like, um, particularly in the black community, of money not circulating. And the reason why, they say it'll stay maybe for six hours. What do poor people do? Well, people who have trouble with money, they, even, they not, may be not even poor, they could be even be making money, making even up to six figures, but they're always broke. What do they do as soon as they get their money, they spend it, or they spend it on um, either just their basic bills or wealth reducing liabilities. You know, they just gotta get that fancy car, you know, that costs a little bit, that's gonna cost them some money. They gotta get the, like the best shoes and everything. You know, they, they ain't going to look for the stuff on clearance or at an outlet place. They'll get it like full price someplace, you know, looking like they're keeping up with the Joneses. That's really a poverty consciousness. You spending money, spending money. But if something happens, you're in trouble. Most people, unfortunately, are living paycheck to paycheck. That's a poverty consciousness. You got that mindset. You're not using that money. Whereas with a wealth consciousness, they will spend that money on an income, uh, income producing asset, income producing asset, like a business, you know, stocks, real estate stocks. Uh, they'll put it into a business, buy some property, uh, something. They're going to put it into something that can bring in more money for them. See, they just, well, the biggest difference is how they manage the money, how they manage the money. Because I'm going to tell you how deep, how powerful a wealth consciousness is. You can start off somebody, you can start off a wealth consciousness person with minimum wage. And in a few years, they'll be living very well. Within a few years. And you say, well, how is that possible? One, with minimum wage, a big issue is how people spend the money. Yeah, no, it's, you know, yeah, it's not necessarily living wage or anything. But how do, you, how do you spend the money? Like, I always talk about a savings. You're always paying yourself first. Um, and I always talk about, you know, you want to put yourself in a position where you can cover all your bills for um, a minimum a month. Ideally, three months, and anything beyond that is great. But the thing is, someone with a wealth consciousness, you start them off there and they will find stuff to make more money. They will work hard. They might, yeah, they'll get that minimum wage job, but then they'll get a part-time job. And then, you know, use the one job, and they could both be minimum wage, but with a wealth consciousness, they'll use one to keep their basic bills paid, and then the other one to start saving 
so they will have money to invest more net for emergency, but also to invest in a business or something that can make even more money for them. And, you know, it could be a business. It could be getting the uh, credentials to get more money. And then a wealth consciousness person, they ain't going to stay at minimum wage long anyway. I've, I've witnessed this happen on different jobs and it happened to me. I mean, I remember when I was working at this gym, this guy who started out minimum wage in a few weeks, he became assistant manager. That's how hard he was working. And another guy, another guy on the same thing who became a manager on duty pretty much right away. But it was how they worked. And then I always tell the story when I started on this particular retail job, I started off minimum, part-time and minimum wage, part-time and minimum wage. But just in a few weeks, I was doing such a good job. You know, I was able to go in and say, hey, uh, you know, I got this, I'm working on this other job. I'll leave it, but y'all gotta give me more money. Boom, they gave me more money, you know? But I had that consciousness, okay, how can I bring in more money? And it's powerful. It's powerful because now you're thinking, how can you keep the money flowing? How can you bring in more money? What can you invest in to get more money? In fact, even how I spend money now, there's more investments. Because, you know, I do a lot of videos and, you know, I got the polo shirts and, you know, Ralph Lauren shirts. I got the uh, Lacoste shirts and everything. Um, it's very rare. I wear, I wear them just out and about. Very, very rare. But you'll see me on here with them investment. Because if I'm looking nice on here, then people watching the video and then, you know, they, you know, they'll sit through the ads, get some money there, um, get some money there, but then also check out my products and, and things of that nature, my other sites. So even then I'm thinking, okay, investment, how do I appear to people? You know, when I've done live seminars, when I've done live seminars, I'm very particular about how I'm appearing. I will get a suit or some clothing just for that seminar. And somebody say, oh, hey, it's a light. It's a light. hold up. You're presenting something. Because I'm thinking, okay, what can I do to make more money? Like the only splurge I really have is you know, some pistachio ice cream every now and then. <laughs> you know, because even the food, I'm like, okay, I got to keep my substance up. Even the food. You know, yeah, I might check out a special restaurant every now and then, but even then it's still about, okay, this is feeding me. This is giving me energy to do the other stuff I have to do. It's giving me energy for my workouts. I'm known for body gain. So I got to, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't looking like I could be a fitness mom, but I look like I can throw up some weight, you know? But that's an investment where I'm at the gym at. Investment, investment, investment in order to make more money. But that's the power of a wealth consciousness. Once you have a wealth consciousness, if you have that, this is so powerful. If you have a wealth consciousness, you could start out on any job and be making money soon. Because that, that's the key. You could start off literally at minimum wage. Because I, hey, I can even say that. I can even say that. Started off at minimum wage. It was, a t I told you. Went through some tough financial issues. Had to start from zero. You know, even like the clothes and area. I remember one time, I'm starting off one time, I had to get these part-time jobs and I had to like, had one undershirt. It was so tight, I had one, I couldn't well, afford to buy a pack. I had to one undershirt, I had to start out washing that thing every evening. And so I could wear it the next day, the shirt and everything and just iron them real good. I could really iron. And, you know, go to work until I could get a little bit of money just to start building a little bit more and everything. But had a wealth consciousness. See, a poverty consciousness wouldn't do all that. Like, that, that, like uh, an example of a poverty consciousness is when someone wins a lottery. They can be a millionaire, instant millionaire, then they broke in a year. That's because they spent, spent, spent. Someone with a wealth, if a, someone with a wealth consciousness happened to play, um, like a lottery for fun, they get that money. They'll, they'll, they will be smart. One, they probably won't spend it right away. They'll probably just sit on it, you know, and maybe put it in different, uh, 
you know, bank accounts and stuff. And yeah, that's a little bit of money you're getting, but then they'll be very diligent about what they will spend their money on. They will look, they will do due diligence on a business, stocks, everything to make more money. So that's the key. They just wouldn't buy something just to buy it, you know? So that's the power of it. If you have that power, if you can get that power, like I said, you can start off at minimum wage and build up. So anyway, though, that's all I have for today. Y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. <laughs>